there's a whole little field popping up with these things here. Mm -hmm. This chunk will I'll need to move. I'll move it over there along that line with the hawthorns. That would be pretty. Step one, let's burn some wood. Okay, then try it again a different way. Step one, let's burn some wood. Okay, let's try it a third way. Step one, let's play with some flame. Step one, let's burn some wood. Thank you. it so we kind of charred it plus we're taking linseed oil and we're going to do three layers of linseed oil drying 24 hours between each layer now it's time to get oily so yesterday I did layer number two with the linseed oil today I'm doing layer three which is the final layer but I'm super excited on how this is turning out. I'm going to start putting this together so we can get the base laid out for the greenhouse. And you guys can come along and see how we're doing it. Okay, so that is three two by six by ten foots on each side, totaling 10, 20, 30 feet in length. Connected with two by sixes, little three foot pieces. All right, so now I'm going to grab the two by six by 12 foot pieces to go across. And we've already squared this off so we know things are perfectly square. I thought they were 12 feet. 
think they're 16 feet, and I don't think Lisa burned the extra length. Where's your ball? Check here. Unscrewing the oh, that is perfect. Seven. to Luria, but she needs to settle down. I'm a little too crazy today. You decided to join us. Okay, so don't move so I can just get around you and go with the dance. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. I want to dance. Love it. Don't move. I'll need you in a second. Okay, can you go down there? Or if you can just keep that right on that two by four there. Got it? See how much easier that is? Cool? Mm -hmm. Not perfect. This promises to be entertaining. <laughs> okay, so... Protect yourself. Don't overreact. Maria, can you hold up the middle? What do you say about entertaining? On the outside, right? 
Whoa, how come it did you do that? I pushed. Okay, can you stand by? Uh -huh. oh. It went down. I'm just thinking. Okay. <laughs> so you're definitely going to need a top support. Yeah. That's exhausting. So... All right. Let's see how long Lisa can hold it there. <laughs> 12 feet, I think. So no double wide cattle panel greenhouse without support. That's for sure. You could do a single without support, no doubles. Because that was that was just with air. That's just gravity. Right. And then with snow. Okay, so this will be the middle. Right? Yep. Whoa! Don't get hurt. You have to let go, let go. <laughs> All right, do you have any ideas? So let me get, let's get the bottom closer. Are we just experimenting right now? Yeah, because it's not going to stay up. So at this point, I'd like to figure out what the height is going to be so that we can start building the center of the floor. Okay, so let's get... Because we need to figure out what that ultimate height will be. Right. So I propose you leave that there because I don't believe it's going to move. And then we're going to push up here so I can start getting this 2 by 6 underneath to go directly up. Don't worry about anything else. Let's just see what happens if we go up. Okay. Can you hold it for a second? Yes, sir. I'm dropping on my head. So if we did this, then the whole thing is going to travel that way and go up, which I don't really see a problem with that. Okay, it's out of my hands. Do you think you could push it one side and see if we can, if this is going to work or not? Okay, I'm going to go to... Yeah, this should work. And then push so it's going up slowly. Okay, stop. Okay, it's following. So you want to push it that way. We're going to end up in about the middle. Okay, can you go to the other side? Okay, get out of the way. It's not going to work. I'm not looking for more injuries. I'm just going to do this for a second.
So this is a total of 36 inches. Then if we put the bottom at 36, so if we put the edges here, and now it tell us how tall it's going to be. Okay, so that's perfect at 36. Definitely should have been thinking it's going to happen. Mm. Right there. Pretty close. So that makes it 11 feet when we add that. Doesn't matter, it's going to be a 2 by 6 up there, probably two of them. Going across the whole thing. Three, no. It's okay. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. What is she looking at? She's probably playing with me. How to get treats. Alright. 10 8, huh? Then they're telling them? Because, one, we're looking for snow to come off. Right. I was just envisioning, based on our measurements, it's going to be 12. I can't make it any bigger. It's not that I want it bigger. Bigger is put, better. We can put but it, we can put it on top of this. No. And then you gain that much more height. I just don't think it's as well connected. Right. The way we're going to connect it is stability. Yes. Which is for sure. And I think for your sides, it's not going to because it's going to. We're going to have to bend it a little bit because it's going to be straight to this point intentionally. So then it'll start to curve. You'll notice. Yeah, I could be wrong. I, my thought is, if you have a planter box here, you should be able to stand here completely straight without hitting your head on the side. Okay. I, what I'm looking future into is not cutting these too short. Are you going to tell me it should be taller? Based on what's happening right now? Based on the height of this, that takes us here. And if that were to fail, I would just start stacking two by fours on the top of that to get that extra height. Because it needs to be resting on the top. Right. Like we could make it because you're obviously going to get a, you're going to, we're going to have to get 12 foot boards to do it. It'll you know, make 10 foot, 8 inch boards. Uh -huh. It makes doing us 12 foot. So the 12 foot boards, 4 by 4s, um, we can cut, let's say to 11 feet, which makes it 132 inches, and then put them up, and if we're like high waters, and it's standing up too tall, we can't get it to bend, then we just cut more on it. Okay. But, based on measurements, 128, 129, I would say 130. It's just a jet, weird. Um, so that we don't have to take it apart and do it twice.
And then, no. And then how many do we get? No. Yeah, you're working me. Well, without counting the back wall and the front wall, I think it should match your centers. So, so one, two, three, that'd be four. You do one on each end because it needs support on the ends. Yeah, okay. And then that'll support the edges. Gotcha. Because that's the only other place that I've seen them fall apart weak points. is on the edge. Yeah. So then it'll be connected three ways at the top. Mm -hmm. All right. I say we go in. I'll pack these up if you can start finding something to eat. 